Think and Grow Rich is literally one of my favorite books of all time. I've read it so many times. I've tabbed it. I've highlighted parts. I get so much information from it. It keeps me inspired and encouraged and helps me to craft an unstoppable mindset so I can turn my dreams into reality and achieve my biggest goals. And there are so many different components and ideas and nuggets in here that I know can help people. But the problem is way too many people, in my opinion, in my experience, ignore the one rule, the one tip from this book that literally is the secret to turning dreams into reality. Because most people read this book, and even though he says at the beginning, I'm not going to flat out tell you what the secret is, but you'll learn it when the time is right for you. If you've read this enough times and it's the right time in your life, you will get the secret of what I'm trying to get across without me explicitly telling you what the secret is. And most people will say it's about the secret, having a burning desire to achieve your greatest potential, to achieve the specific goal or goals that you've set for yourself. And so throughout this entire book, he talks all about different ways of having a burning desire, a white hot burning desire to achieve, to be your best, to earn money, to accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish. But there's one concept in here that I believe very few people actually realize is the thing that will make the difference. And I'm going to give it to you, but then I'm going to give you three specific things you can do to actually implement this key to unlock your greatest potential and achieve your biggest dreams and goals. And it's really, really simple, but it's one that most people overlook. And I found it on this edition of the book, one that Russell Brunson published on page 216, and it's in the chapter called Persistence. Here it is. It's the eighth step, the eighth step to riches. He says there is no substitute for persistence. Now listen to this. He then goes on to say, those who have cultivated the habit of persistence seem to enjoy insurance against failure. No matter how many times they are defeated, they finally arrive up toward the top of the ladder. Here, this is key. Sometimes it appears that there is a hidden guide whose duty is to test men through all sorts of discouraging experiences. Do you feel like you're going through a discouraging season of life right now? A season of struggle, of challenge, of difficulties? Are you facing obstacles that you feel are beating you up so bad that maybe it's meant to stop you from achieving your goals? If that's true for you, then keep listening. Those who pick themselves up after defeat and keep on trying arrive. And the world cries, bravo, I knew you could do it. The hidden guide lets no one, listen to this, the hidden guide lets no one enjoy great achievement without passing the persistence test. Those who can't take it simply do not make the grade. Those who can take it are bountifully rewarded for their persistence. They receive as their compensation whatever goal they're pursuing. And that's not all. They receive something infinitely more important than material compensation. The knowledge that every failure brings with it the seed of an equivalent advantage. You cannot turn big dreams into concrete reality without passing the persistence test. And maybe better said, you will never do anything great with your life if you don't pass the persistence test. The persistence test is meant to test you to the point to find out how bad do you want your goal? How much do you want to actually achieve the thing that you say you want to achieve? Because if you don't pass the persistence test, it means at least one thing. It probably means you don't want it bad enough. And if you don't want it bad enough, then you're not going to do what it takes to turn it into reality. Secondly, if you don't pass the persistence test, you cannot refine yourself into the kind of person that can achieve the big dreams and goals that you have in your head and in your heart. But if you actually genuinely are determined to achieve your big dreams and goals, then you'll do whatever it takes to pass this persistence test. If you study the the people in the world in history and currently alive today who have achieved and created the biggest results in the world in their specific profession or field, they've passed the persistence test at least once. And at every level you want to go to, I am completely convinced you'll have to pass another persistence test. You see, the persistence test, in my experience, is not just for like breaking through and then you're all of a sudden the most amazing person in the face of the world at that thing. But the persistence test is here 
to continually refine you and your character and develop you into the kind of person that can achieve your goals. You see, one of my favorite Jim Rohn quotes is, success is not to be pursued. It's to be attracted by the person you become. And the only way to become the kind of person that can achieve, that can achieve massive goals is to pass the persistence test. It's to go through the challenges and the obstacles and the adversities of life. Because it's through those challenges, obstacles, and adversity that we're faced with the decision. Are we going to work and make the effort to become the kind of person that can overcome that obstacle or break through that wall to go to our next level? Or are we just going to kind of cruise and hope that something good happens? You see, I've just, I've been studying this stuff for long enough to know that the highest achievers in the world, the people that have accomplished the greatest things, the people that you and I look up to and admire and want to be like, Those people, they just refuse to quit. Those people just keep going. Those people understand this concept that they're always going through a persistence test. And until they pass the persistence test, they will not be able to achieve their greatest potential. And friend, I know for certain that you're someone that's destined to do something great with your life. How do I know that? Because I believe every human life is here for something special. Everyone is gifted in a unique way that empowers you, and that equips you to do really specific, meaningful work that matters in this world to make a positive difference. But the problem is way too many people don't believe that they're actually here to do something great. And if you don't believe that you're here to do something great, then you're not going to put in the effort to pass the persistence test. And if you don't put in the effort to pass the persistence test, then guess what? You won't pass the persistence test. And if you don't pass the persistence test, you will not do the great things that you're here to do. And so I want to give you three very specific things you can be doing right now. You don't have to wait. You can implement it today so that you can pass the persistence test. By the way, how do you know? How do you know if you're in the persistence test? Do you feel like life is challenging? Do you feel like you're being punched in the face by life? Do you feel like things are difficult? Do you feel like you're not where you want to be? Do you feel like you're stuck? Do you feel like progress is slow? Then friend, guess what? You're very likely in the middle of a persistence test. And if you're in the middle of a persistence test, I've got great news for you. That means you're going through what you must go through, what you're required to go through to do the great things you're here to do. So the good news of a persistence test is that it means you are meant to do something special, that you're being given the opportunity to strengthen yourself, to refine yourself into the person that can do the incredible things that you're here to do. And so here's the three things that you can do. Number one, This sounds so simple, but it's literally one of the most vital things you can do. Dream big. And we're like, JJ, that sounds so cliche. Yeah, it is. Do you know why? It's cliche because way too many people hear it and say it and talk about it, but don't live it. They don't actually dream big. But the thing is, your dreams, your vision of what you want life to be like must be bigger than the persistence test that you're going through. It must be so big and exciting and compelling and get you so fired up and excited That no matter what challenges and obstacles come at you, you will persist and you will keep going and you'll do whatever it takes to break through, to just keep chipping away, to knock down that wall, to turn your dreams into reality. Because the people that have small dreams have only a little bit of fuel. They just don't care that much if they don't accomplish the dream. But if your dream is incredibly exciting, then guess what? You're going to work harder. You're going to put in a greater effort because it feels worth it to you. You will say by the time you accomplish your dreams and goals, it was worth it to go through that persistence test. It was worth it to feel like I allowed life to punch me in the face again and again and again. It was worth it to feel stuck. It was worth it to go through that season of struggle to turn my dreams into reality. But if your dream is not big enough, then you're not going to have the fuel you need to keep moving forward to persist and pass the persistence test. Number two, you got to fuel your faith. And this sounds really simple, but the reality is you've got to continue to find ways to remind yourself that great things can happen for you, that you're destined to do something special. Because if you dream big, but you don't actually really have the faith to back up that dream, then why would you make the effort? You're not going to. But if you actually dream big and you know that you're here to do something special with your life, then you'll just keep going because your faith will move you forward. And by the way, faith is a belief that great things can happen. 
And if you want to get technical when it comes to positive psychology, faith is a belief that something outside of yourself, God, the universe, so, literally doesn't like another person, something or someone outside of you will do something or create something in your life to make something good happen. That's faith. But in positive psychology, hope is where you have agency of your life, meaning you can do something to actually produce a positive result in your life. So you've got to have faith and you've got to fuel it and you've got to have hope and you've got to cultivate it and you've got to keep getting yourself fired up and excited for that big dream and giving yourself the hope you need and the faith you need to keep pushing forward. And the third thing you have to do is make a really important, vital decision. Because I talked about, you've got to be able to pass a persistence test. You've got to dream big. You've got to fuel your faith, have hope, but you've got to be fully committed. You've got to make a decision that no matter what happens in your life, no matter what challenges come up against you, no matter what obstacles you face, you will persist and you will keep moving forward. Because if you don't actually make the decision, decision, to keep moving forward, if you're not already fully decided that whatever comes against you, you will keep fighting and keep moving forward, if you haven't made that concrete decision, then every time you come up against an obstacle or a challenge or an adversity, you're going to be set up to have to make a decision. But if you make the decision once, then you never have to make it again. If you say, no matter what happens, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to keep chipping away. I'm going to take the punches that life throws at me And I'm going to keep moving forward. If you make that decision once and you fully commit to it, then it doesn't matter what comes your way because you will already know that you've decided to keep moving forward. And friend, I want you to know that you can do great things with your life, but you've got to decide to dream big and that no matter what comes up against you, you will pass the persistence test. And no one does anything great without passing the persistence test. And if you believe this and you know this to be completely true, then you've got to realize that if you just never quit and you just keep going, great things will happen. I recently heard Tom Bilyeu. He started a company from scratch with a few co-founders, a couple of co-founders, and built it to a billion-dollar business within five years. I don't know if success to you is about building a big business, a certain income, or making a certain contribution, or just doing the thing you do at the highest possible level. But what I do know, the lesson here that I gained from him is that he said most people will quit. Most people will quit. It's true. Most people will quit because they don't dream big enough. They won't fuel their faith. They won't maintain their hope. And they don't make the decision that no matter what comes up against them, they will just keep going. But if you, friend, refuse to quit and you just keep going, then great things can happen for you.